Hi, I'm Stan Young, veterinarian here at the Greensboro Science Center, and today we're looking at Squirtle, our nine-year-old chinchilla. To make our job easier and to make it less stressful for Squirtle, we anesthetize it for this exam. We use a gas anesthesia chamber just because it's quick. Um, our procedures we're doing today are going to be quick, um, and he recovers very fast uh, after we're done. Once Squirtle's out, we can move forward with our procedures, which today include a full physical exam, we would palpate his belly and joints, um, look in his eyes and ears. Also, we're going to collect a blood sample from his jugular vein. From the results from his blood work, we'll be able to tell if Squirtle has any underlying diseases that aren't immediately obvious on his physical exam. And we got a weight on him. Today, he was 620 grams, which is a little high for a chinchilla, but Squirtle's always been a little big bone. We're joined today by Haley, a fourth year veterinary extern from Lincoln Memorial University. She's using the rigid endoscope to check out Squirtle's teeth making sure they're growing properly and not causing any traumatic lesions inside of his mouth. On closer inspection, everything in Squirtle's mouth looks great today. As is part of our normal protocol, we took full body x-rays of the Squirtle today, which includes a ventrodorsal, him on his back, and right lateral, him on his right side, images. With these, we can look at Squirtle's insides and his bones and make sure everything looks great. And it does. If you'd like to join us in person, here at the Shearer Animal Hospital Vet Window, please keep an eye out on our social media pages for the schedule.